it was that simple But if singing changed anything They'd make it illegal I hate strangers, loud noises and crowds I'll play a show every night And would you, and would you believe There are people who come to me for advice I'm driving fast as the car can go Cause I'm going home
I'm not a good person Ask anyone who knows me I'm mean and bitter and a failure At everything that I say I believe I'm not a good person Ask anyone who loves me I never write, I never call I never think about anyone at all will consume me and I'm too tired for the truth I'm not a good person I'm sure you're not surprised It must be pouring out my sweat glands It must be someplace in my eyes I don't know why I am this way I've been like this Try to keep up with everything I know I should do, but then I'll fall to pieces anyway. I don't know why I am this way. I'm not a good person. Not even you. I'm staying home because I can't stand the sound of another heartbeat in the room. I'm not a good person. Fuck it, you know it's true. I'm lazy, I'm a coward. I'm asleep all day in my room. I don't know why. I am this way. I've been Try to keep up with everything I know I should do, but then I'll fall to pieces anyway. I don't know why I am this way.
I'm thinking God is real, but against us. Pray for what you don't want. Reverse theology. I'll pray for freedom, because no matter how much I'll tell you I want it, I'm still getting led around by a cigarette. Or anger, or fear, take your pick. I don't give a shit. And I wish it were true, but to get free, we have to start with what's true, I think. And if I have to tell you that what's real is terrible, maybe you're in the wrong place. If I have to tell you that what's true is terrible, maybe you're in the wrong place. I've looked my family in the eye and told them leave me to die Or I'll make you sorry you didn't I've stolen from people who didn't deserve it I've not helped people who did I turned away when I knew I made a mistake Instead of dealing with it I've wasted good chances I've had in this life that other people won't even get I put off setting things right with Andy and now he's dead Haircuts. 
taking what comfort we can. In the fact that every be entirely loaded for this stream just so everybody's aware um let's see hang on yeah that's why i figured my focal length was wrong right about there right about there oh <sighs> and by loaded i mean um hold on in addition to we're we're doing this i'm fucking I'm angry today. Sorry, it's under my tongue. I'm liable to lash out at one of you guys. Oh. Mm. Boom, we got more of a cocktail going than that. Oh. Nothing like letting something dissolve under your tongue. Oh, Marcus and I are going to be riding the same fucking boat here. Yeah, I'm just, I'm over it today. Uh. Oh. oh. Let's see. Yeah, it really is, beast. Binders, right? What are the fuck pill binders are made out of? Jesus Christ. <sighs> I just I just needed something to take the edge off. And weed ain't gonna cut it. I mean we're gonna throw that on the pile for sure. Uh <laughs> but yeah, I, I need to just There's only one thing that does that for me. Uh <laughs> uh, Beast, I remember when they had a <clears throat> candy coating on the fucking oxy, uh, Oxycontins. Gotta scrape that shit off. <laughs> Viscous, don't go around encouraging that shit, Viscous. Oh, God, the taste. Oh. Oh. For those wondering, <clears throat> uh, benzodiazepine. <clears throat> that's what, uh, that's what that was. Oh, dear sweet Jesus. It just doesn't go away. Oh, all right. Let's do some... We're going to speed run some headlines because I don't feel like fucking... <laughs> God. It's going to be you or Kaiser, man. It's going to be you or Kaiser. All right. So let's start with the bullshit. I put this in fucking, I don't know, memes or something. <clears throat> So good luck. God bless. Uh, Jake was drunk. Josie was drunk. Jake and Josie hooked up. Josie could not consent. The next day, Jake was charged with rape. A woman who's intoxicated cannot give her legal consent for sex. So proceeding under these circumstances is a crime. It only takes a single day to ruin your life. Think about it. Be responsible. Strong. Big UK energy on that one. Big UK energy on that one. Jesus, Karina. <laughs> uh, uh, how many mass shootings did we have on the 4th again? Uh, Beast, over the weekend, we had 220 people killed and f over 570 injured in shootings um, across the U.S. over the 4th of July weekend. So 220 dead, four, uh, 570 injured, approximately. Those are the ones that we can count and that we know of. Um Jake was drunk too, though. Yeah, that's, you know. Um, <clears throat> for those keeping track of what... Um, uh, for those of you keeping track of what the, uh, what you know, good old Hitlering is up to. Um, some dude on Twitter said, fuck Hitler. And good old Jeremy said, yikes, to saying, fuck Hitler. That's as much time as we're going to spend on that. Um, fucking, like I said, we're going to speed run some headlines here. What's up, Alex? 
Um, here you go. Here's something to get pissed off about. <clears throat> So, two Pottstown church, uh, churches cited for violating zoning code's definition of a church by offering free meals and other services. Uh, fuck me. Yeah, we're, we're during the warm-up here. We're just going to speed run some headlines and get it, get it, get it through. Uh, Smite Knight gave great, great, gave great praise last night. That's positive. Well, thank you, Smite Knight. Um, yeah, while we're doing warm-up here, we're just going to burn some fucking headlines. Um, uh, good luck, Alex. Uh, whatever a gender thingy is, uh, whatever, whatever a gender thingy uh, appointment entails. Good luck with it. Um, oh yeah. Uh, I want to show you guys, this is historical photos. Um, these are photos from the second Iraq war. Um, these are rare photos. These are super rare photos. Um, these are photos of the U S army actually seizing some of the, um, some of the equipment that was going to be used for making weapons of mass destruction in, um, in Iraq. Oh, did I, did I say mass destruction? Oh, I meant, uh, looting all of Saddam's looted gold. Sorry. I sometimes, you know, weapons of mass destruction, gold that Saddam looted by committing genocide that, that we then looted from him. Something, something, something. Either way, you know, that. <clears throat> ah, yes. Um, this one? This one. Is this the study? This is the study. Okay, so good news for the dog lovers. Uh, long story short here, I'll put the, the link in chat if you want it. Um, basically, um, if you want to find a crime-free or a low-crime neighborhood, just look for a, uh, a critical amount of dogs. The more dogs they have, the less crime a neighborhood has. Um, dog patrol, uh, dog walkers act as ad hoc patrols. They discourage crime. The dogs act as ad hoc alarm systems. It just blah, 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 blah. Um, it is, it's an active deterrent for criminal, uh, active criminal activity within an, uh, within an area. Um, it's just a, it's, it's a deterrent. Um, all right. So let's see. Uh, ba -ba. Oh, let's see. Um, oh, dolphin poo is super good for coral reef survival and growth. Just FYI, um, the Russians, um, the Russian military thinks the commanders are selling their own troops loca locations for cash. They probably are. Um, what if the only one with dogs, but I get a lot of soccer mom. Um, not sure. We have to probably try it. Um, Oh, uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Pregn uh, pregnant cancer patients may die because doctors fear treating them because it now could count as illegal abortion. But that's neither here nor there. Here's one of my favorite photos from um, from recently. This was definitely a fun photo. Um, multiple translations on this have been done. It says, if your freedom of speech is an insult to my profit, then my freedom is to behead you. Something, something, something religions. Um... <clears throat> oh, the Russian um, um, airsats McDonald's that opened up because McDonald's left Russia and M Russia was like, fine, we don't need McDonald's. We're opening up McDonald's on our own. Apparently, the new McDonald's, um, the burgers have been um, moldy and have bugs crawling out of them, apparently, or dead bugs in them. Either way, they're doing great. Um, <clears throat> let's see what else. Oh, uh, Lindsey Graham and Rudy Giuliani been subpoenaed for the January 6th committee. Uh, Lindsey's already said he's not going to cooperate, so they'll probably as toothless and idiotic as our Congress is, they won't be doing anything. Um, Mitch McConnell replaces all the Christianity beheadings with shooting. It'll sound familiar. Exactly. Yeah, just fucking transliterate it for your, your own region. Um, 
fucking <clears throat> Mitch McConnell says the labor shortage in America will be solved when people run out of stimulus money because quote, and this isn't an old quote, this is him just yesterday, because quote, Americans are flush for the moment. You know, Americans are just, their pockets are full of that fucking stimulus money. Um, it's just overflowing. That 500, 1200, that $612 just went so far for people. Um, yeah, I know, right? Um, fucking Uvalde's mayor. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Oh, uh, soccer mom, I heard of somebody trying to like re implant an ectopic pregnancy. Don't ask me. It's fucking bad women's anatomy. I can't help you. But yes, there was, my mom was mentioning, uh, mentioning it to me. Um, the uh, Uvalde, uh, <laughs> yes, yes, love to see people like, wait, what? Yeah, Mitch McConnell's fucking stupid. What do you want? Um, fucking, which you cannot say, by the way, on the r slash anarchism subreddit anymore. You cannot call Mitch McConnell stupid. You can't call anybody an idiot. You can't say stupid. You can't say moronic. You can't say fucking anything. You can't say imbecilic. You can't say, um, fucking what else can't we say now on r slash anarchism? Oh, we can't say dude. We can't say bro. We can't say guy. We can't say, uh, what else? There's a whole list of fucking language that they're, um, they're policing now on r slash anarchism. It's fucking great. Great. Um, anyway, so the uh, Uvalde mayor um, has stated unequivocally he fears a cover up by his own police department and is asking Governor Greg Abbott of Texas to investigate. Good luck with that, mayor. Uh, fucking. Oh, I'll circle back around to that one. And I assume this was all voted on by the separate viewers. Oh, for sure. For sure, 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 sure. I a resolution. Um. <sighs> Basically just trying to speed run a list of headlines before I, before that fucking tablet kicks in. Ah. Uh, that's your warning, John. We can't have advocacy for that sort of thing. Um. Oh, of course. Soccer mom. Of course. Of course. Um, <laughs> oh, that girl resolution. Um, I hate how Twitch policy polices our right to incite violence. Um, so, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, uh, fun fact. Um, white children are, quote, especially likely to be overdiagnosed and overtreated for ADHD, while all other children are likely, uh, uh, especially likely to be underdiagnosed and undertreated. So, like, if you're a little, like, bouncing, white-haired, blue-eyed fucking, uh, uh, like, kid in America, well, well, just a little son of Hitler, little Aryan youth, right? You're um, really likely to be diagnosed with ADHD. And overdiagnosed and overtreated, even though you're probably just a hyperactive little kid, right? Fucking, whereas if you legitimately have ADD, ADHD, and you're a person of color or a, uh, or a girl, you are uh, probably not going to get your diagnosis. Fun times. Um, so, cat, uh, it literally is. Um, oh, um, Alex, they don't care. It's, it's in the, it's in the, it's in the same fucking list. It's in the same list. They don't care. Um, fuck it about the r slash anarchism. Uh, cost of sand has spiked 150% in Texas. By the way, sand is used in fracking. If you weren't know, uh, if you didn't know that, that's why the cost of sand has spiked 150% in Texas is because of fracking. Um, also COVID supply line issues, blah, 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 blah. Um, Fucking, oh, uh, Destiny's doing a thing. I, I think Destiny wants to say the N-word a few times um, and complain about Vosh, apparently. I saw the fucking thing. Either way, Destiny has a new, like, 13,000-page N-word manifesto. It's going to be, like, N-word, 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 Vosh, N-word, N-word, Vosh, N-word, N-word, Vosh. Like, I'm pretty sure that's the manifesto's, like, table of contents at this point. It's Friday, actually, Alex. Alex, yeah, it's actually Friday, not Wednesday. Um, yeah, it's Friday at 1300 Eastern. Um, um, yeah, um, the, uh, fucking, it's called the, 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 
God. The manifesto is called The End of All Things. I'm not kidding you. Um, here is here is the table of contents for those of you who are interested in uh, um, hearing Destiny's um, master manifesto. By the way, it is uh, 31,000 words, 179,000 characters. Um, yes, the end of all things. Um, preface, beginning, the birth of Twitch politics. The beginning, the Chubber and the Chadwick, the Great Schism. Indefinite suspension, the official reason, my speculation, rumors, considerations. Here's section two. Everybody, are you ready? Are you ready? Everybody, everybody, every, everybody, everybody, everybody. Here's section two, the trans question. That's literally section two, the trans question. Then under that is a subtitle of dysphoric discourse, so, uh, bullet points, why, from those in the back, gatekeeping is good actually, where I stand, societal goal with trans discourse, and online activism. Um, now, this is where... This is where it gets, this is where you know what he's actually talking about. This is where you know what he's actually talking about. Okay? Chapter three. French, uh, chapter three, character. Friendship. What are friends? Bullet point one, what are friends? Two, and how do I choose them? Subsection two. Dog whistles and earmuffs. Bullet point. Dog whistling versus PC speech. Bullet point. Can't you hear it? On, subsection three. Ontology. Meta what? On the construction of evil. On the commission of evil. Living your values. Subsection four. <clears throat> lies. Evidence is inconvenience. Hate raids and brigades. Doxing. Hateful remarks. Random harassment and random statements. Section chapter four, Ian. Subsection one to chapter four, Ian. The VQ. The VQ. The VQ. Oh, no, cat. Cat, it's readily apparent. The VQ. Bullet point one, straight up names him, Ian Kaczynski. Two, the Vosh identity. Three, my treatment of Vosh. Four, simulacstiny. M S I M U L A C S T I N Y. Simulacrum plus destiny, I guess. Simulacstiny. Um, next one, counter sue. Next one, summary. Chapter five, end. He he basically ends his manifesto by ranting about Vosh for like. Six sections. Uh. <laughs> um. <laughs> so, like I said, N word, 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 trans. N word, N word, Vosh, trans, Vosh, trans, N word, N word, N word. Probably, probably, but either way. Uh, <laughs> I'll skip to the summary. The summary is Destiny really wants to say the N word. He's kind of pissed at Vosh these days. And also, what's the deal with trans people? There you go. There's the manifesto. I just saved you, like, dude, it's going to take 31,000, like, a word count like that? It's going to take a while to read. It's going to take 31,000 words read at an average pace is going to take hours to read. I, 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 yeah, he's starting at uh, one o'clock Eastern on Friday. So good luck. Um, let's see. What else? <laughs> hey, Bushcraft. And thank you. Um. Oh, by the way, um, Tennessee Republican Representative Scott, uh, Deleg uh, uh, Desjardins, um, 
announced he's 100% uh, anti-abortion. Oh, you want me to finish the statement? Oh, sorry. Um, Tennessee Republican Representative Scott Desjarlais uh, is 100% anti-abortion, except for that one time he um, asked his uh, uh, his uh, mistress to have an abortion. Oh, um, also um, the two times he and his wife had an abortion, except for those three times. Except for, except for those three times. The two times that he and his wife had an abortion and then the one time he, he tried to get his mistress to have an abortion. He's 100% anti-abortion, though, just just so you know. Just so you know. 100%. Um, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Um... What's actually look like if I do this? Cool. Um, who are the easiest ones to get fasc get to be fascists? I don't think it's libertarians. I really don't. I think the easiest ones might be libs. Um, I think people who are obsessed with the status quo are the easiest to get. <sighs> That'd be my argument. Conservatives easy. Anybody who's obsessed with the status quo, that goes for moderates, that goes for conservatives, that goes for, I, I, I tankies. Well, Alex, that, that, that rules them out. Tankies are already fash. You can't get them to be fash. They already are fash, right? You can't, you can't like freeze ice, right? Like it's, it's already frozen. Uh, was there another uh, mass shooting while I was sleeping? I mean... Which one? How long have you been sleeping? Where, what part of the world are you in and how long have you been sleeping? Because, I mean, yes. Probably. Take your pick. <laughs> um, thanks. We, um, the U.S., we have our numbers for 4th of July weekend, if, that, if that's fucking, for like four hours. Oh, well, then definitely. We've probably had like three of them by now. Um, 220 people dead, 570 wounded over 4th of July weekend from shootings. So our numbers are in. What's up, Crapo? Oh, you changed your name again. <laughs> okay, fine enough. Good enough, Kinetic. Um. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The 4th of July one is um, definitely a fucking thing, right? But no, nah. no, um, it's a reference, um, links, um, Fox news and the conservative pundits have been maintaining like, uh, Bill O'Reilly screamed about it. Tucker Carlson screamed about it. Laura Ingram screamed about it. Um, weed w cannabis is uh, federally promoted. Even like what I'm even said, federal government promoted, um, but uh, cannabis, we, uh, marijuana is causing the mass shootings. So I, being a consummate patriot that you all know I am, shut up in the back, you all know I am nothing, if, if anything else, if nothing else, I am a consummate proud American. And when I heard, when I heard that cannabis was causing our children, and the chil children are our future after all, when I found out that the cannabis was causing our children to to end up in psychotic delusions and and picking up weapons and picking up arms against our our fellow Americans all because of this devil lettuce from south of the border. I right then and there, I swore to myself I would smoke all of the weed if it if it meant that I could save our precious, precious children from this, this scourge, this plague that the left has unleashed upon America, upon the world, up, nay, upon the universe. So, you know, that. It's my civic duty. Oh, 
It's for the children. <laughs> it's for the children. Oh, that's three kids saved right there. Exactly. <coughs> oh, beast. One of these days I'll automate the lights. I've been meaning to for a while. I just don't want to put money into it. <coughs> oh, oh, fine. Whatever. Uh, I, I don't, what's the purpose of this? Mm. Okay, I get it, but okay. Um. I can't string with changing lights on a webcam on an actual capture card setup. It's, I mean, Karina, it, it's, it would depend on, it would depend on the camera, the fucking, there's a lot of settings, but the long and short of it is, yeah, pretty much. Um, like, if I, hang on. Seriously? Work with me. There we go. Um, I think you need a hard, you need a hard white front like these here, the key lights. And then, yeah, you need a decent DSLR or something that's equivalent. Um, okay. The ring light will work. The ring light. Um, uh, um, uh, bootlicking and I need the, okay. So yeah, zippy. I can do that. I can do that for you. No problem. Give me one sec. Um, viewer rewards. How often I've been there. Well, can you not? Can you not use the the free emote, the follower emotes outside? Z Zippy, you wait. You can't. Oh, that's bullshit. Why would they do that? That's stupid. Oh, has it been? How long has it been since I was banned? Hold on. Let me, um. Do I have fucking, I bet I don't have automatic changes anymore. Like I don't have any of that shit. Okay, hang on. All right. Remove from slot. All right. Uh, how about... There you go. Um, done and done. I just, you have T Wizard as well as uh, Bootlicker now. There was just an extra slot. So I just moved it. Simple as that. It should update eventually. <clears throat> oh, God. Do we. <laughs> fucking a Putin stan. I mean, Jesus. Um, all right. So, anyway, um, distracted because weed. I was doing my civic duty. Um,. Oh, good news. Um, uh, half the world's fish stocks are actually recovering. 
um, in areas of the ocean that wants to be used to be overfished. There are areas that aren't. Um, also, China got caught. Um, Chinese fishing vessel again, dude. Uh, honestly, uh, um, the Chinese fishing vessels are a problem that we need to deal with. Off the coast of Uruguay, I believe, was uh, they were in Uruguayan um, Uruguayan uh, national waters. Um, they got caught with something like. 1100 tons of squid or something along those lines i think it was like some cephalopod it was squid okay it was squid um fucking yeah like dude th this has been this has been a long time coming do they get caught all the time like every every month Somewhere on the globe, there's a story about Chinese fishing vessels either towing the line or just straight fucking done. They're like, whatever, we'll fish three minutes from your fucking house. What's up? Right? Like, I'm waiting for one of these vessels to straight up get, like, nuked from orbit. I'm, I'm waiting for one of these Chinese fishing vessels to to get fucking navied like w somebody's gonna do it one of these days they're gonna conf they're gonna board them they're gonna board them they're gonna arrest the individuals they're going to seize the assets they are going to fucking like you know and they are going to draw a hard line and i i just want to know who has the balls to do it first it'll be interesting to see Chinese fishing vessels spotted in Las Vegas, despite lack of water. Exactly, Burke. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, 100%. Dude, the Chinese fishing vessel thing is a long time coming. Dude, this, this, is, this is problematic on a global scale. Like, they are out of control. Like, pff, again, anarchists, equal opportunity. Dude, China's fishing policies are batshit. Like, talk about runaway. Like that is that is something that needs raining in hard and fast. That's like Brazilian beef, right? It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa what are you doing? Um, good news by the way. The whole like burning the Amazon rainforest for uh the cattle industry in Brazil, largely not our fault. Not from like from the um we don't consume Brazilian beef in the US. Just so you know, you actually get to feel innocent for once. Like largely we we're not involved in that one. We've got energy logging, we've got like some of the ancillary industries that are being brought in to do the murdering. Um, but like the actual industry being driven there, um, that's largely Europe and abroad. We don't, America doesn't really consume Brazilian beef. That's not a thing we do. Um, so one of, one of the few times that Americans can be like, that one's not us. I know, right? Right? It's like, it's like when there's a mass shooter and it's not a crazy white dude. Everybody's like, really? And white dudes just all look around and go, oh, fuck me. Thank it's just one. Just think you should give me one. Uh, yeah, we didn't fuck up one thing. Wow. So it's really sad. That's, that's what it is. It's just, it's like, oh, just give me the one. 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 <laughs> this is our one. America is not really driving that process. <clears throat> uh, but, you know, Bolsonaro definitely is. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we, exactly. Like, we're, dude, we've gotten our hands dirty basically everywhere. So, so we get it twisted. But, you know, yeah, this is just one of those asides that's like, oh, by the way, you know, the Brazilian beef industry are the ones consuming the Amazon rainforest the way they are. Um, and we don't eat Brazilian beef. So, <laughs> Europe, you know, if you value the Amazon rainforest... <laughs> Maybe stop importing Brazilian beef. Um, you know, China will buy it though. So you're, we're fucked either way. Uh, yes, Crimson, that is entirely correct. Um, some of the processed foods 
um, can get sketchy sometimes, but by and large, yeah, America eats American beef. There's there's some importation for specialized products, um, processed foods or a mixed bag. You get that Swanson's like TV tray dinner. I, I can't make you any promises where that stuff's coming from. That's a grab bag. Um, but yeah, by and large, like if you go and buy beef in a in a grocery store, even from like Walmart, it, you know, it doesn't matter how big you're eating American beef. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's that's just one of those things. Again, it's what you know, it's like it's like one of those things that weirdly people uh, same in Canada. Yeah, it's it's we're, we're we're not we're actually not guilty on this front. It's 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 a pride of the nation. Yeah. Like we, we grow our own cattle. Um, yeah, it's one of those weird things that like people don't like a lot of leftists don't like to include in the conversation sometimes because it's so America bad, which America is bad. But I mean, you know, it's, you know, it's that America has to be bad sort of fixation that it's like, you know, you can't be bad a hundred percent of the time. Fucking even Hitler was like, you know, took a minute off to pet a puppy, right? Like you can't get that hundred percent completionist rate, right? Like it's just an impossibility. So get over it. Um. So, yeah, like it, America is energy independent. It, we import, we have energy imports, but they're strategic imports. We're energy independent. We have, um, you know, we largely you know, um, produce a good portion of our own meats. Like we do it in the most horrific way possible, which is why you should not participate in that system. Um, also it's just bad for you. Be, you know, however you want. Yeah, no, it's yeah, public. It's, it's, it, it is, it's public. It's, it's strategic imports only. Like that's, we really don't, it's, we're energy independent. We have been since like 2016 or some shit like that. It's just a non-talking point. It's like, yeah, like it really doesn't matter. Like the, 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 the neolib capitalists in America have been positioning this for a while. They're going to do a little bit of an isolationist run for the next couple decades, probably. You, I mean, that's the strategic moves for the U.S. is to lock down strategic partners, withdraw from like as much of the global stage as they can, um, sort of become a co-partner rather than the person leading the, the discussion in the room and sort of run this sort of mildly isolationist policy and refocus. Um, that's you're going to see sort of almost um like a walking back of Brenton Woods almost like it, it's it's going to be that sort of like hey you can't rely on us you shouldn't rely on us and we don't want you to rely on us whereas once upon a time it was we will secure the world's oceans we will make sure that free trade can happen right it's it, you can lean on us America's position these days for one for one reason or another um, strategically done in some sectors, other reasons fucking completely batshit insane in that like MTG Trump fucking camp of absolutely just like chicken hawking, but economically, right? Like, yeah, it, it, it's, it's America's focusing on a drawdown, a, a drawback um, from the global stage. And we have been for a while. It's weird. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. No, testa. Fuck it. Yeah, if you get your fucking hunting license, dude, just f hunt. Yeah, or know somebody who hunts. Um, yeah. People say our energy is expensive because of lack of drilling. Yeah, no. I mean, Jesus Christ. Um, fucking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Public. Like people don't know. Like people don't have that vision of L.A. Um, there. There was an era. This was Los Angeles. This used to be Los Angeles, y'all. 
like, yeah, it was, it's a huge energy producer. Uh, yeah, it's just east of Santa Barbara, 1901. There isn't one, John. There's many. There's many. <laughs> May make secular. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah. Maltesta for sure. Dude, I've, I, the one thing I can say is, uh, I have experimented with and really gotten down for food preservation. Um, Harold McGee on food and cooking, pick it up. It's your Bible. Um, Ruleman's book on cured meats and sausages. Also super fucking useful. Um, and then a little bit of geekery, some out and brown in there. If you're, if you, if you know what you're doing, if you're good with like, you know, backyard engineering, like redneck engineering and tinkering and building and inventing. Um, yeah. Yeah. I've built nitrogen in injection systems for, um, for flushing bucket flush, uh, to, for, uh, bag and, uh, bucket flushes. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. I've got like double mylar bags with like industrial sized oxygen absorbers that just straight up will for many years to come. If there's any leach of oxygen out of the deep recesses of that food, it will just, and then yeah, flushing, uh, vacuum packing, uh, vacuuming down and then flushing the bag with nitrogen and then vacuuming down again and then flushing the bucket a food grade bucket and then, you know, dropping multiple mylar bags and then dropping oxygen absorbers in there too, as well. And making sure, Oh yeah, I've played around. I've put in work over the years. of like sort of like figuring out what can, what are the outer limits and what can be done? And yeah, no, I've, I've talked about the buckets before. Like when a couple of my buddies were going through some really hard times, like, you know, one of them was homeless on another buddy's couch and you know for another a while there my buddy was completely food insecure his fucking child alimony tax student loan he was literally being left with no money every month after all the shit they took out of his paycheck <clears throat> and i made sure that motherfucker didn't starve using like this stockpile of like prepper stash basically for all intents and purposes that I had been sort of engineering over years. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Resolution. Um, you, uh, you, you fucking did the Librea tar pits, by the way, are amazing. Um, one second. Uh, oh, yeah, the sheriff. Dude, that's fucking. Oops. I just closed my session there. Okay, cool. Um, hunting and packing, preserving collective. Those are pretty common in rural areas already, Malatesta. Hey, or urban. Dude, city folk are weird. I gotta tell you, at heart, I'll always be a fucking country boy. Always will be. I'm a technologist through and through. I'm a transhumanist. You know, I live in Las Vegas and enjoy the fuck out of it, even though I despise this place. It's a love-hate. Um, 
I'll always be a country boy at heart. And city folk are weird like that. Country folk already, like, rural folk already do a lot of this shit. Dude, this is, this is, I, I'm going to experiment. Hey, Dig. I mean, I don't need to do too much work with it in Vermont because that's where I'm probably headed. But, like, a lot of places, dude, all you got to do is drop all of our, our terms. Like, all of those prescriptive terms that we talk about and use on this channel when discussing, you know, Heter hierarchical organizational methodologies, anarchism, leftism, socialism, fucking doesn't matter. Drop all the words and just go with the fucking ideas. And these motherfuckers would look at you like you're stupid because you would be because they already do all this shit. A lot of country, like a lot of small towns are already that way. They have fucking, you know, the neighbors, the, you know, the ones down the street, they're they're your lifeline in a lot of times. And yeah, when your fucking neighbor bags some extra meat, they, you know, they come around knocking like, hey, could you use? Cool, I could. Thanks. You know? And then maybe next season you got a big harvest. You know, you'll knock on your neighbor's door. Hey, could you use? It, it, it just, it's naturally that way because... You have to do it to survive. You have to. It, it's, it's just the nature of survival is putting food down for lean times, preservation methods, relying on your neighbors. You know, that sort of shit is just necessary for rural life. It just is. And it's also where a lot of the metastasized manifestations of uh, social ills shall we say or uh, <clears throat> some abnormal programs that crop up the busy buddy everybody knows everybody's business fucking that sort of nature <clears throat> it's almost like monkey strong together I know right cat uh my neighbor had a house in Eagle Valley and would bring deer back to us. Nice dig. Well, yes, Peaky, exactly. Community. Uh, I'm a city girl who grew up in the country. It's in my nature to do a lot of these things. Yeah, like... Um, the true. I grew up in Colorado. We all try to distribute our neighbors whether there's gay meat or extra garden vegetables. Yeah, I'll test it. I fucking grew up in Vermont, man. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. That's the way it has to be. Um, yeah. Like, and that's that's why, you know, yeah, we've had people come through here before and ask me, like, you know, are you a prepper? And it's like, was your great-grandmother a prepper? Because I do this shit that your great-grandmother would do. Like, that just, that's sort of, you know... I'm not building a nuclear bunker where I'm planning on eating Heinz beans for fucking, you know, three decades. Fucking, that's, that's not, hmm, no, no, I'm not, I, I'd, look, I'd take the bunker, but not for the whole, like, trying to survive the end times. I'd have a whole other idea for it, but... The revolution starts in the hinterland. <laughs> uh, it would be fucked numerous times we didn't have neighbors to rely on. Yeah, caboose out there in the fucking country. Uh, make public. That's a lot of work. Can I just die? It's an option. There's lots of interesting ways to do it in the country, too. Um, all my food prep skills come from being poor. Yeah. <clears throat> of, course she's, of course he's drunk. Um... I live in a city. The only thing we share is exhaust pipe fumes. Uh, I know people who don't know how to start a fire. That concerns me. <laughs> um, nice dig. <laughs> a few things, actually. Yeah. There's a few plants there. <laughs> um... My mom's spaghetti has squash and zucchini in it because we grew too much and had to find things to put it in it. Yeah. 
Do I have a stockpile sterling silver dinnerware that I bought at garage sales? No, I do not. See, that's the thing is I, I, I it doesn't extend into the the uh, like absurd. I don't see it that way. My preparations are the same sort of thing that like any any good country folk would do. Right? Like they they might have kept around some extra cash, but they they never used the banks to start with. Money, wealth uh, up in the hills was always measured differently. Money in a lot of the rural places for a lot of time didn't really mean much. They needed it for certain things, but You know, if they got hungry, they could just go out back and nab a squirrel. Yeah, it's uh, living in a third world country with friendly neighbors. <laughs> uh, Bur Burger Man from India. You bet your ass you'll be given mangoes during the summer season as a sign of goodwill. Yeah. Can't eat money and can't build a house from it. Well, I mean, enough, Zippy. Enough. Enough. <laughs> How much money are we talking? Like, we talking them Zimbabwe dollars? So those Zimbabwe dollars, that's a building material right there. Jesus Christ. Whatever Venezuela's rocking these days, too. Um, fucking. Yeah, I saw somebody doing handicrafts with Venezuelan money. Somebody in Venezuela was using like just stacks, like it was a fucking pile. There's a mound of fucking cash on a table, like out in public. Like it's just this is their raw paper. And it's like origami. It's like it's paper. It's craft art. And like this dude was making like uh purses, like fully functional purses and shit, using using like thousand and hundred thousand dollar bills and shit like that. It's fucking hilarious. And the purse is worth more than the money. <laughs> like the purse is legitimately now worth something. The the stuff it's made out of, worthless. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh Penny Bourgeois usually obsessed with money since it didn't involve food. Uh food just luxury shit. Yep. Um <laughs> it reminds me of the water boy. What's for dessert? Bug zapper goes off. Squirrel. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> um. Yeah, pu public labor. <laughs> now it has value. Um. <laughs> uh. It looks expensive, but surprisingly inexpensive. Yes. Yes. Um, oh, God. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah. No, I really, it's, okay, so it's the Bolivar. Um, Fun little piece. And it seems like, I mean, it seems actually functional. Like, you might be able to actually use this for a season. It's better than fast fashion. It's an hilarious statement, too. Ah, uh, that would be... Alpha. Um, here you go, John. Here you go. 
Um, <laughs> Crimson. <laughs> this match by clothes. I'm not sure where I'd use it, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah. There's another one. I really would. I'd love to give a tug. Like, I'd love to, like, tug at it. And see exactly how resilient it is. I'd be like, holy shit, this thing's actually sturdy. Right? Like... It's almost like it's already there. Oh, shit, I mean... You're welcome, John. Yeah, they do. They look like a, a like a proper woven purse, don't they, Zippy? Like I I I'm betting they m currencies are usually fucking made out of, you know, something pretty resilient anyway. They tend to be within the cloth spectrum rather than the paper spectrum. Um so yeah, no. I I bet I I I'm bet like I like I said, I just love to give a tug at it. And see exactly how resilient we're talking. Because I bet it actually is probably... It would hold up for at least a season. At least a season. Yeah, exactly. That's Crimson. I don't know what the Bolivar is made out of. <laughs> Think in the middle... <laughs> Right, look, John, I'm going to indulge you, John. Middle left. Is this what you're looking for? Or where? Where are we looking, John? What's up, Astro? I'm indulging you, John. What's on the wall? <laughs> oh, he was talking about here? Like actually, oh, okay. On my wall. Okay, so I want to see close. You're not getting close ups. All right, so this is Blair. Um, this is Blair Mountain. This is the first major labor revolt in U.S. history. This is the fucking uh, United States government firebombing its own citizens in order to quell and then turning it over to uh, private uh, security forces to do a good a good portion of the uh, uh, the murdering. And then this is Sophie Scholl and the rest of the White Rose Society. Uh, Sophie is just one of my own personal heroes. She is the ballerist bitch that ever walked this planet, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and so, yes, and then, then labor creates all wealth. And then that's actually a series of art pieces that were done for a while, uh, uh, by, done by a friend um, many years ago. Um, oh, I think she was, I don't think she was, I don't, she didn't speak like a, like a child. Let's just put it that way. She didn't act like, she didn't carry herself like, she didn't speak like, in no way, shape or form did she ever act like a 19 year old. <laughs> She was uh, something else. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and soccer bomb. I know Zippy, but holy shit, was she wise beyond her years. And mature beyond her years. And brave in the way that only youth, I suppose, can bring. She straight up was like, I'm already immortal. Um, <laughs> it's got to be Vimar. Yeah, it's Vimar. <laughs> Kids playing with stacks of money. 
See? <sighs> Good old Weimar Germany. Now, for those that know, okay, for those that know, spotted on Reddit today, okay, this was, this was spotted on Reddit. The man, the myth, the legend. Sitting in an airport. And a Redditor looks up and says, holy fuck. It's Breen. Ah. Uh. So, Stude starts asking. He goes, do I talk to him? Like, I don't want to creep, but I really want to say hi to him. We caught each other's glances a couple of times, and we have another hour for our flight. The tension is palpable. People told him, you know, keep it short, keep it sweet. But, like, you know, get after it, man. He's like, I introduced myself and got some info on the newest film. That's right, motherfuckers. Pay attention. He says it is complete. And it's entering the festival circuit around December. Also, what was Breen doing in the airport today? He was heading to a Mensa meeting to give a speech. That's right. <laughs> Why don't you stop asking questions like that? Oh, I wish nonsense was here. Nonsense isn't here, I bet. Where you motherfucker. Oh, God, I wish he were here. You motherfucker. Of all people to not be here right now. Uh, yes. Yes. Breen was heading to a f fucking Mensa meeting to give a speech. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> They're not even IQ tests, Astro. They're not even IQ tests. <laughs> I I love I I still it still tickles me. Uh, yeah. It's hitting the festival circuit around December. It's done. It's done. <sighs> we have a new brain film. We have a new brain film. It exists. It exists. I'm gonna join Mensa just to see the speech. I know, right? <laughs> I wanna know. I gotta hear. I gotta know, man. What was the speech? Oh, it would be amazing. It would be. Breen. Of course, Breen. Of course, Breen's giving a speech to fucking Mensa. Of course, Breen's giving a speech to Mensa. Of all people to give a speech to Mensa. Of course, Neil Breen is giving a speech to a Mensa meeting somewhere. Oh, oh my God. I, poor, I, oh. You, you you ask this question like that means something. I, I I was pretty sure it doesn't mean shit, but I, I was I was like, I'll give the benefit of the doubt and I'll go searching really quickly. John, does anarchism suffer the no perfect goat problem? What the fuck is the no perfect goat problem? By the way, 
feel free to go to your favorite search engine. Put in quotations, no perfect goat. Close quotations. And give it a, a give it a search. And see what comes up. Hey, food. All goats are beautiful. Hey, Gab. I got pictures of goats. Scott's been do fuck goats. Maybe he meant that. <laughs> uh, what are you eating, Alex? Food check. Food check, Alex. What are you eating? Yeah, because you do better searching no per uh, uh, no uh, no true Scotsman because. The logical fallacy that you're searching for desperately, John, isn't no perfect goats. It's n no true Scotsman. So forgive me when I don't know what the fuck you're asking. When you ask me about whether anarchism suffers from the no perfect goat problem. Because somehow I'm supposed to be psychic and know you mean no true Scotsman. <laughs> what the? That's a good one, actually. Fast food, chunky fries with cheese, Chinese curry sauce, and battered sausages. You know what? That's that's hot. That's high calorie food, Alex. I approve. Good on you. What like astral? Astral. What language spoken in Kentucky? Is that like what 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 language is that astral spoken spoken in Kentucky? Just at, just out of curiosity, it's one of those one of those languages indigenous to uh, Kentucky. Is it? Because I'd love to get that list of languages from you. <laughs> Bad joke. <laughs> I'll stop busting your balls, John. Um, good on him. <laughs> Humans are fallible. Goats, not bound by our foibles. Public, exactly. Oh. Uh, how do you do it? Is he just force feeding you? Oh, God. Oh, no, that tech support. I offhandedly mentioned that, like, last week. Fuck it. <laughs> I mean, more Harper is going to be the end of, like, electoral processes in this country. No, yeah, more Harper is just a... I, I'm not entirely sure how they'll come down on it, but, I mean, the fact that I'm not entirely sure should be a problem... I, I think they might want to hold it together a little more than that, but I don't I don't fucking know. Seriously. Are you actually high with her? Is that a thing you do? Um I dude. Yeah, no, this is, this is, if it's allowed, this, that's balkanization right there. Oh yeah, Crimson, do it. Seriously, do it. Ah. Hi, right, good on you. So the question would be, does anarchism then, did, if we translated the question, the question would be, does anarchism suffer from the no true Scotsman fallacy? which isn't necessarily how I would word that. Um, no, there are ground rules. Um, there's a lot of variance within anarchism is again, in the words of the late, the great, the, the baller bitch that she was, Emma Goldman. It's a network of ideas and we much prefer it that way, right? But there are some hard and fasts 
anarchists are anti-capitalist. Anarchists are generally anti-hierarchical. Anarchists are anti-oppression. Anarchists are, you know, pro-marginalized communities. They're for equality. They're for egalitarian principle. They're for equitable, uh, equi an equitable society. There's these sorts of things that anarchists are for, right? Um, that just are intrinsic to it. Um, so those can get you excluded. But beyond that, there's large variances within the anarchist milieu from individualist to communalists to, I mean, violent to pacifist from transhumanist to primitivist, right? Like there's, there's wide swaths of thought within the anarchist milieu. Um, so do we suffer from a no true Scotsman fallacy? Some anarchists over apply, uh, filters and rule sets and definitely come down on that. But for the most part, I say that for something to exist, there has to be at least some parameters that define it in some way, shape or form. Um, and those parameters are the ones I generally, you know, sort of listed off earlier. Um, and if you qualify on those fronts, then generally speaking, you probably are some form of anarchist one way, shape or form. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're the, <laughs> the illegalists. There's, I mean, there's the expropriators Do the expropriators reading about the expropriators of South America. I mean, do they just like fucking let's rob banks? Let's rob the, the, the like, you know, army pay halls where, you know, the army would bring in scrip and money to pay the soldiers. And they'd be like, yeah, let's just rob that place. Right? Like, yeah, re reading about like the South American expropriators, dude, they, they got up, they got up to shenanigans. Illegalists are the easiest to romanticize. And that's a danger, my friends. That's a danger, but... Uh, um, wait, what's happening? Jesus Christ, did this dude just spiral? Puka had a pet goat when I was younger. Her name was Tina, and she didn't have eyes. Well, at least the floppy outer bits. It's indicative to her breed. What the fuck? What's up, Cass? <laughs> yeah, this dude just like lo like lose the handle on his weed. Yeah, I mean, dig. Fuck. <laughs> it's, it's, that's a harsh lesson in the middle of it. That's a harsh lesson in the middle of it, Karina. <laughs> you could be that kind of mom, huh? Apparently so, soccer mom. Apparently so. <laughs> Karina's Karina's the make you smoke the whole pack kind of mom. Uh, 
Uh... <laughs> yes, Caboose, he is. 100% he is. Yeah, dude just spiraled. <laughs> I feel sorry for him. John, you still here? John, dude, trust me. <laughs> uh, yeah, you dude, it just it takes time. Get up, move around, fresh air, get some cold on your neck, some nice fresh water in you. You know, fucking just get up, move around. Yeah. Eat some food. Yeah. Digs right. Food will bring food will ruin that high. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean it, resolution, right? Like I, the last thing I'd want to be doing is, hey, um, no, oh, uh, wither. Apparently, I did not. <laughs> uh, uh, and yes, I smoke. I've kept uh, kept a list of all the jokes. <laughs> Jesus Christ, don't wither, wither. Don't tell me something like that. Don't tell me something like that, wither. <laughs> I can't. Be, I can't be responsible for like the corruption of the youth. Fucking <laughs> hey, not hashtag not a role model. <laughs> Can we get it on the fucking screen? Fucking oh wait, there it is. <laughs> oh, wither. <laughs> oh, I do adore you though. <laughs> Too late for that. <laughs> oh, man. I was fine snuggling my cat helps, says Puka. I don't have a cat. <laughs> Go steal one from the neighborhood. Just be like, come here, cat. <laughs> way too late to not be a roll. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Fucking. Dude, did anybody see the, uh, the, 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 okay. Dude, I posted this to like memes or some shit. Um, yeah, caboose. I know, right? Crazy. Um, all right. So uh, about the the goats thing, it's just like, dude, there's nothing. Uh, I put it in memes, and where was it? It was a ways <laughs> or somewhere else. I don't fucking know. There it is, dude. This is a ways up. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Summoning Jutsu! I'm not even a fucking weeb. I just found it eminently amusing. You can borrow my dog, Noodle. He hugs. Um, you guys absolutely a bad one. I don't know if up the wrong tree. 100%. Hey, Alex, if I am up front that I am a horrible role model and that no one should ever model their life after anything I say or do, even if I tell you directly to. I mean, you know. <laughs> oh. Bitrate dropped out there for a second. I was just watching it. Christian Naruto would be amazing. Uh, you corrupted me when I learned. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> how to, uh, how to min max a fucking ecstasy roll. Yep. And I did teach you fuckers that didn't I? Uh, they're dragging us. They're on to me. Satellites. Satellites watching me. They're watching me in particular. They're watching me in particular. The satellites watching me in particular, guys. The the fucking. I, I, I think they're tracking me. I think I, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're tracking. Oh wait, hang on. I work for the CIA. Never mind. Of course they're tracking me. Anyway, bye. Uh, I have eight animals available on Teplon for Snuggies. <laughs>
having fun. <laughs> uh, good luck, Alex. Take care of yourself. Glad you're eating regularly again. I can tell you. Well, first off, no, I can't. Hold on. Yes, I can. But give me a sec. Done. Okay. We're out of... Um, <laughs> um, I just want to move us over to just chatting. Um, the, um, <clears throat> the, if you were here at the beginning of the stream, if you were here at the beginning of the stream, the very few, okay, that has officially kicked in. That's definitely just providing a, just a fucking coating of Teflon smoothness to the consciousness. That the best way I can, it's, it's a, a GABA antagonist anyway. So the closest that I can get you there, if you have never participated in that, at that end of the spectrum, um, is like the perfect alcoholic buzz where you're not quite yet drunk where you're not just like, I'm fucking, but when you're just like lubricated, right? And you're like, yeah, I feel, I feel good. You know, that, that's what those do. Is anyone else, he's <laughs> Kaiser. Yo, is anyone having trouble with their Soros check? I, uh, Cause I, uh, I can help you get that file, pay me drugs. <laughs> Biden is destroying America. Is he the only one? Cra crazy one, 21. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Is Biden the only one destroying America? I need to, I need to know. Kamala too. Is that, that that's only it? There's two? Are they like super powered tag team? Just like some Bruce Wayne fucking Clark Kent shit? Kamala and Biden are out there fucking ruining America. Like night after night, ambiguously gay duo. Um, oh, and o AOC. So it's a threesome. Okay, so there's a three. It's threesome. All right, cool. So like Biden, Kamala, and AOC are like not single handedly, but you know, triple handedly, um, ruining America. No one else involved? Do we just... It just stops at those three? The Democrats are the... Facists. Uh, facists. I'm just gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. Fascists, right? The Democrats are the fascists. Interesting. Okay, so also the Democrats. Or, wait, is fascism good or bad? I can't... I forget sometimes. Because I, you know, I remember back when the, you know conservatives of this country were 25,000 strong supporting the National Socialist Party of Germany in, time, in Times Square. They came from all over the country for that rally. Um, so I get confused sometimes. But no, okay, so the, the Democrats are the, the fascists. Um, interesting. Um, that is an interesting take. Uh, Fox News is destroying part of the USA. A good chunk of it. A generational chunk. Um... Tucker Carlson said maybe we need fascism, so like he's for Biden then, right? I think you're missing some fascists. Fascists. Oh, I love that you guys were actually. I mean, uh, Daz, may I ask your approximate age? Because as somebody who's already lived through abortion clinic bombings and gay people being forty nine, so Daz, what do you what do you mean now? Come on, man. They always have been for at least your our lives. You and me, man, we're close enough in age, right? Like forty nine. <laughs> Do they been these crazy fuckers have been bombing bor abortion clinics and shit, right? Right? It's like, come on, man. Fucking they've they've been terrorists for a while. <laughs> just, they're just, you know, they're um getting in touch with their their culture. 
That's all. Right? They're just, you know, getting in touch with their roots. Shooting doctors in, you know, rectories of their own church. Anyway. <laughs> uh. Oh, anal. Yeah, anal. Uh, that's why we're smoking weed tonight. Like, that's 100%. Uh, federally, uh, uh, weed is what I call um, perfectly legal tobacco, for sure. Um, I smoke a perfectly legal tobacco out of a fairly large uh, water pipe. And I, as I stated before I did it, I'm doing it out of a civic duty. When I, when I learned that that the weeds the, the the evil devils led us from south of the border that these these horrible horrible people keep so graciously bringing to us even though most of our weed doesn't come from south of the border anymore but hey who's got time for details um i i knew i had to spring into action and so i at that moment when Laura Ingram and Tucker Carlson and Bill O'Reilly, who's apparently still got a show on his own fucking like website or something. I don't fucking know. All informed me, which reliably I'm sure that marijuana was responsible for mass shootings. Well, the kids are our future. So I had to spring into action. And so we are most assuredly smoking as much of the weeds as possible to prevent that from falling into the hands of our vulnerable youth. The future of our beloved nation. So this this is this is my Vietnam. Okay? This is this is me protecting the foundational principles of our nation and ensuring that generations to come have a future that they can they can hold their heads up proud in. I, I I we should we should get hats, right? We should get hats made or something, like jackets. Can we get license plates? Is that a thing? Can we get like, you know, weed vet veteran of twenty twenty two or some shit? You know? Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Lucifer's lettuce. How do people find their gun on marijuana? I can't even locate the remote on weed. Uh, no, no, soccer. They really did blame weed. They really blame weed. Straight up. 100%. Mm. A highly vanguardistic religiosity, uh, a highly vanguardistic religious theocratic organization that steals children and buys fucking slave kids on the open market in order to train them to become their weird fucking disciples who they brainwash with their nonsense fucking largely ineffective ideology that ends up leading them to the slaughter. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely on the side of the Jedi. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Is there a, is there a, a Star Wars universe equivalent of an anarchist? Is there like actually somebody's like, you know what, fuck all these idiots. Jesus Christ. Can we just get none of these people on our planet? Yeah, oh yeah, Disney's definitely going broke. For sure, Disney's going broke. Whoo, cra crazy one. I'm sure their bank statement's looking pretty similar to yours these days, right? I mean, Astral, I'm a, st I'm a Star Trek guy. Uh... 
Oh. How much do they make? money in a quarter holy shit somebody break this like somebody fucking consolidate all of these numbers for me they make so much goddamn money <laughs> they make so much fucking money their shares are down a little bit but holy shit Parks alone made six point seven billion dollars. <sighs> They're making about six point seven billion dollars a quarter. 6.7 billion a quarter. Hold on. Um cr crazy one. Do you make 60 6.7 billion dollars in a quarter? Looks like profit, uh, me toad. I'm not kidding you. Look at some of these fucking charts. Revenue's up as well. But like, yeah, no, they're fucking, dude, they're raking it in hand over fist. They're even down compared to where they used to be. Like before COVID sort of thing. It is absurd the amount of money these this company makes. <laughs> I mean, there's there's far greater earners, but wait, what was that about fucking college footballers? Oh, cause ABC, right? And shit like that. Yeah. Fucking NBA college basketball. Jesus Christ, they make a lot of money. Oh, I don't run either of those. Astral. I just suffer. Jesus, I asked a Star Wars question. That's that, that right there. That right there. I asked a Star Wars question. Oh, Lord. That's on me. It's on me. Nonsense, you motherfucker. Okay, nonsense. You weren't here for the story. Oh, my God. There's people in voice chat right now. Nonsense. Get in voice chat, and I'm going to move you to on air. Oh, sweet. We were just talking about how much money uh, fucking Disney makes from it. Nonsense. I have a story. You will love it. Nobody spoil my news for nonsense. Oh, that's my wrong page. Hot takes, Star Wars is science fiction for babies. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm bringing nonsense. I just want nonsense to move in. All right, get you out of there. Yeah, I don't want any of you, Caboose. <laughs> I just wanted nonsense. 
but I knew you'd have to wade through there. Bitch, turn off your your mics. Your mic's muted. Oh shit! I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> Dumbass. All right. Can you still see the Twitch uh, Twitch stream? Yes, I can. Okay. So somebody was at the airport today, and Reddit was tracking, and uh, f- fucking, it's the most important airport spy- uh, spotting. Um. So I'm just gonna toggle over over here. <laughs> Where's this? Uh this is Vegas. Uh, this is McCarran. I think it's the Terry Reed or some shit. Now it's McCarran. I wonder where he's going. Okay. No. Oh, bitch. Okay. So the guy who took the photo mm-hmm. uploads the photo and says, "I don't want to be a creep, but like I really want to say hi to him." And we've caught each other's glances a couple of times, and we have another okay. hour before our flight. <laughs> The tension is palpable. <laughs> Somebody's like the sexual, the sexual tension. You mean go talk to him, right? Somebody was like, you know, people are to, to, to get him, you know, get him up. They're like, come on, come on, keep it short and sweet. I bet he'd make his day. Come on. He's like, you think so? Yes. Be polite. Be respectful. He's a hero after all. Right. Like I've read a few interviews with the brain reverse actors saying they enjoy working in his movies. He can't be a bad person. Right. So wait a second. Wait a second. So this is all he, he's like live streaming this or something. He's posting live on just Reddit. Like right, he, oh, okay. he, he threw a fucking post up and with the with the with this image attached to it. Right. And yeah. it, so and then this is all comment chain. Like this is all just like people who's like, dude, you ha- you have to. You have to. You have to. Go. Yeah. No fucking way. I can't. You can't pass that. Right. OK. So after they they, they get to him, they're like, <laughs> he's like, OK, update. I introduce myself. He's a super nice guy, and I got some info on his newest film. He says it's complete, and it will be entering the festival circuit around December. Nice. Also? I need to send him another message if he's not working on it anymore. Also? You want to know where he was headed? Where? He was headed somewhere to give a speech. What group was he giving that speech to? Hmm. Khan's already over. Um. I don't know. Mensa. <laughs> I hope he makes them better. <laughs> when I had, is he, when is I told, he like the president now? <laughs> when I told this story, I was like, where the fuck is nonsense? <laughs> where the fuck is this motherfucker? Get this bitch in here. I'm like, none of you are going to appreciate this on this level. <laughs> fuck, I need nonsense for this. <laughs> oh my God. Is he in Mensa? Apparently he's giving speeches to them. <clears throat> you know what? What's really fucked up about that is that's the coolest shit I ever heard about Mensa. Yeah, right? Right? Fucking. And, you know, I, I zoomed in and fucking looked at the photos too and shit. <laughs> I, I got in there and I was like, dude, the, the boots are well worn. Like he really does wear the boots. The boots, yeah. the boots really are well worn in. You can see he's kind of got like the leather jacket and the black. He's got the 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 Johnny Cash motif going for sure. Yeah, uh, he's total. He's totally like totally pure dark poet in the real world. Look at him like wearing a real watch, right? It just. But he looks a little skinny. I mean, you know, he's getting up there, and I don't know if he's got anybody looking after his ass. Like if I was anywhere and I looked across the room and fucking Neil Breen was there, there is no way you're stopping me from walking over and being like, what the fuck is up, King? Yeah, no, 100%. 100%. <laughs> like dude, I wouldn't even know it was happening when I was already like dude, sticking my hand out. <laughs> I'm, dude, <laughs> it's like that scene from Malcolm. If, uh, years of f- <laughs> blast from the past. It's like that scene when the, the boys are trying to tempt um, uh, Francis back into like just they want their brother back and he's been on the dude ranch and shit like that. And, he, you know, so they set up the fireworks and hand him the lighter. And he's like, guys, I'm different now. I wouldn't even. And you just hear this click and the flick of the lighter. And you just, the camera shot opens up and he just looks over at his arm. And he's like, huh, interesting. And he's already lighting the fuse. Like, it's just it's like, he's lecturing them. He's like, I, I have a wife, I have responsibilities. And you just hear it in the background. And you're like, yep. 
Um, yeah, that would just a hundred percent. You'd just be fucking, you'd be like, what's up, man? Like you are, I, I, I do not mean this in some weird hipster post ironic w- way. I dude, I a hundred percent think you're like the greatest filmmaker that's ever existed. <laughs> I think, I think I would like, I would love to talk to Neil Breen because I think that me and him would vibe. I think we would definitely vibe and I could probably get him on your next show. If I could just meet him in person, dude, a hundred percent fucking. Yeah. He was the guest speaker at a Mensa meeting. What city I dude, I don't have that. Oh. They, cause they, they were headed to the same city. And so I'm pretty sure the dude didn't want to like dox himself. Uh, Oh God. Um, but you know what? <laughs> I, yeah, no, I can tell you where he was going. Where's he going? Uh, he was in room one called C- <laughs> Sierra one. Uh, he was giving a 3 PM to 4 15 PM lecture on, um, how he produced, wrote, directed, self-funded, and starred in five indie theatrical feature <laughs> films. He discusses script writing, producing, directing, casting, locations, production, post-production, editing, special effects, legal issues, contracts, profits, distribution, and more. Um, and he fed everybody tuna. <laughs> fucking, uh, and it was in Sparks, Nevada. Sparks, Nevada. Oh no! Hold on, I'm I'm already pulling it on a map because you need to uh, see exactly how not anywhere Sparks is. He flew there. That was at an airport, right? Yeah. Okay. So, like, let's just do this. All right. Sparks is basically a suburb of Reno. This is Sparks. Okay, so let's just, we're just going to zoom out a little bit. And you're just going to very quickly notice that there's very not much anything going on, really. Yeah. Any. I hope it was well where. attended and I hope they paid him a lot of money. Um. Yeah, it's, Sparks is bum fuck nowhere. Uh, yeah, there's nothing, yeah, it's just bumpy. Um. But yeah, it is, it is an actual fucking Mensa meeting. Hey, let me ask you a question real quick because it's something that's going on with me. Um, you know, you're like in the Las Vegas area and everything. Do you ever run into FLDS folks? Oh, um, no, not really. I mean, not anymore because I'm just not like exposed in the ways that they usually, usually run into them. But I, um, uh, yeah, they're, they tend to not be in Las Vegas usually. It, but it's it's like not all that uncommon for them to be around there. Like, no, no, like we have, Vegas. we have LDS. We don't have the FLDS. Okay. Uh, FL- FLDS specifically, I'm interested in. Yeah, 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 because they're still fucking doing the stupid marriage shit. Um, yeah. yeah, they're um they're down in um uh, Colorado Springs. Um, that's yeah, they're not really welcome in Las Vegas. There's one family here, and they're on a fucking <clears throat> TV show. They're like, on a TV show. Yeah, like Sister Wives. That Sister Wives show. Like, oh, that's, yeah. yeah. That's that's okay. that shit. It's they live in Las Vegas. Um but by and large, um, no, they're not really welcome with the like mainstream Mormons now. Okay. So yeah, that's they're they're on the um Arizona Nevada border a lot of the time. That's usually where you find them. Um here on fucking I've had a really bizarre few days. It's like, it's so bizarre that I can't create anything because I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Um. 
All right. Uh, Jesus Christ. Fucking, yeah, okay. No, it's Colorado City, Arizona is what I want. <sighs> so here's where, yeah, see, you can see your border right here. It's actually Arizona, Colorado, not, Col uh, not Arizona, Nevada. Um, here's Colorado City. This is like infamous okay. for um for the fundamentals. Um, they basically run. Then, so, they basically run this town. So that's like Nevada Arizona border. It's uh, Colorado uh, Colorado Arizona border. With, Colorado Arizona border. Yeah, okay. Colorado Arizona, and then Nevada's right over here. But yeah, okay. So if you're looking for it, it's St. George, and then like okay. So here's Nevada over here. Here's Col uh Here's Arizona over here, and here's Col uh, Utah over here. Um, okay. And, and where's Idaho? Idaho is right. Idaho's up here. Like if they were fucking Jesus Christ. Fucking here's Nevada. Here's Utah. Here's Idaho. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, here's Colorado, uh, Colorado city and it's just, do they have their own like patrols? Uh, I've, I have a couple of books from escaped wives. Fucking cult is heinous. Yeah. This is, um, armed guards of the church. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Papa John, they're Mormons, not Pentecostals. Um, a lot of people claim to be, mm -hmm. <laughs> fucking, yeah. Um, yeah, that's, if you want, um, here, watch. Uh, Colorado City, uh, Arizona, and then we'll just go to videos. Polygamy Town, Colorado City, and its recent turn of events. Community okay. of like, you know, community of Colorado city opens up after Warren <coughs> Jeff's like, it, it's literally like they run this town. Okay. I was just asking cause it, they're like closer geographically to you than me typically. Yeah, no, they're not really welcome amongst mainstream Mormons. Yeah, that I know. Um, I just need you to know that the Mensa gathering in Sparks, Arizona is called Sparks of Genius. <laughs> is Elon there? Did Elon attend? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I needed you to know that before we moved on. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. The whole thing is beautiful. So, and yeah, it's in the can. It's, it's, I'm glad to see that Mensa is trying to reform its image. It's in the can, and it's going to hit the circuit in December. I sent him, like, three messages. I haven't heard anything. But you know what? He's such a fucking boomer. He's got, like, 12 goddamn emails, and they're all at, like, AOL. <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> oh, I'm going to try to I'll, I'll try to hit him up on Twitter again. Oh, <clears throat> what, uh, are, what are you? Is there going to be a premiere? Are you going to go to the premiere? There's got to be a premiere near you. Uh, dude, if if he does one here, um, a hundred percent. But he's been known to not do them here. Where does he do them? Like he takes them elsewhere. Like I forget the list, dude. I'm I'm fucking lit. Uh, on multiple <laughs> things. Um, so, congratulations. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was like, he's taken it elsewhere though. Like he doesn't do like premieres in Vegas. Cause if he did one here, trust me, like now, like this, uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out. If he does do a premiere here, like, of course I'm going, of course I'm going. You'd have to. I hope it's good. I, Thanks for the shout out. <laughs> um, the fuck you what are they asking about you. Um, he is a streamer. Um, and I'm a streamer. I'm the best guest. I'm the best kept secret on Twitch. I think, <laughs> I think you are, dude. I, dude, I have some shit to say that I can't say like on air. 
about okay. like some viewer numbers from like, <laughs> that I I've seen because I I don't dude I I I don't have time to spend like my the way I spend time in like as like checking on people's streams and stuff like I don't engage because that just means I feel like I'm attached and now I need to be there and it's fucking <laughs> so I lurk a lot. Um, <laughs> And dude, I saw some some of your numbers compared to somebody else who we know's numbers, and I was like, "Oh fuck, fuck you, fuck you." Yeah. Those numbers should be reversed. Like Hassan, yeah, exactly. Hassan specifically. Oh no, <laughs> not <laughs> not talking about Hassan. Oh god, did we just did we just do do the curse? Thanks for the follow, dude. Fucking that dude's gonna come through and start yelling that we're talking shit about Hassan. Again. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. Jesus Christ, it'll just manifest that dude. <laughs> Fucking a. I was like, I've had such. I wish I could like elaborate more on what's going on but it's like it i'm in such a weird situation right now that like last night when i streamed i was confused the entire time like i didn't know what the fuck to do <laughs> there's yeah but Ooh. i've been having fun i've been doing i made a blip i made a uh, airship recently and it's got a thing that scrolls on it and says no you are the one who is full of hot air <laughs> Oh, uh, if I had the power, I'd give you, I'd give you Rogan's show and contract, and then I'd leech off you for the rest of our lives. <laughs> I, 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 I could do that. I'd be like Ron DeSantis. Everybody, everybody vote for Ron DeSantis. <laughs> Jesus Christ! The fact that he's supporting DeSantis now—he's <laughs> so. I was like, what the fuck is going on? He's, he's just so so vulnerable he's so dumb and so vulnerable and so manipulatable like you just see it you see it yeah well, like he's just too way too dumb to be running in these circles there's a thing that happens though i think that happens with guys that are are otherwise you know like good i don't think that joe rogan is a necessarily evil guy right but he is like being marinated in this whole like evil sauce uh -huh. and he's being attacked <laughs> constantly for crazy shit that he does not understand and so eventually every once in a while he's gonna dip his toe into some really stupid shit oh, fuck it wait hold on <laughs> jesus christ papa john papa john don't fuck it don't put that evil on me ricky bobby Fucking Papa John Pig saying Cruz Abbott 2024. Um, <clears throat> Cruz can't be president. Oh, I guess he can. How does that work? Oh, Isn't he Canadian? If he is Canadian, like, wait, is it some like his parents also? Like, what's the deal with his citizenship status? Does he have a legit U.S. citizenship? His citizenship, I'm, or we naturalize him? I'm gonna need to see Ted Cruz's long form birth certificate. <laughs> His mom is a U.S. citizen, if I recall. He's eligible. Fair enough. <laughs> did, have you caught? Oh, you, dig. Of course you have. Dig. dig um, fucking uh, Rogan did. Joe Rogan did. He's, <laughs> he's in favor of DeSantis these days because the last person that spoke to him was in favor of DeSantis. <laughs> yeah. And, and people people have been like, even though I get like three people in my stream, like a fourth guy will show up and he'll be like, Ron DeSantis is going to be president in 2024. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's entirely possible. <laughs> I'm like, he's not charming. He's not charming. I'm fucking, um, oh, here, blast from the past. Let me see if I can find it. Um, you're going to love this fucking thing. I mean, Trump's an evil bastard and fuck Trump, but he is so evil that he is funny sometimes. And that's why he, he gets the love. DeSantis, I've never seen. Um. Oh God, I can't find it. Where was it? It's just so fucking funny. I'm pretty sure you'd enjoy it. Ah, uh, man. I have an ad from the like '90s, early '90s. Uh, from Playgirl magazine. Um, with Donald Trump in it. When he was getting his divorce from Ivanka, Iv uh, Ivana, from Playboy or Playgirl? Playgirl. Playgirl. 
Um, it's it is a it is a this is this is, this is why I'm I'm searching desperately for it because it is kind of hilarious. Um, Playgirl is so funny to me because like like I knew this guy who was a centerfold in Playgirl. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, basically Oh god. Why can I not find this? Uh Trump Playgirl ad. Not gonna tell you what the, the, the other uh the other word that is the there it is. There it is. Alright. Ah the terrible picture of it. <coughs> but oh, you know what? That's not even the best version of it. Where is is there no, oh, God, I need the better version of it. Either way. Okay, so this ad ran in Playgirl. This is creepy picture of fucking Donald. Sleep with Donald <laughs> Trump. The contest that puts you in a bed with the man of your dreams. He's tall, good looking, about to be divorced and rich beyond your wildest imagination. His every move makes headlines, even his bedroom moves. One woman <laughs> reportedly called him the best sex I've ever had. He's multi-billionaire Donald Trump. And now, if you win our contest, you can snuggle up to get to know him too. It's easy. Just fill out the coupon below and mail it in to us by August 15th, 1993. And we'll pick winners at random. One for each million of soon-to-be ex-wife Ivana's uh, uh, prenuptial agreement. Classy. Each lucky winner will receive a pillowcase exclusively screened, uh, screen printed with this Playgirl. Uh, uh, I can't even make out that the of the Donald's face, so you can lie there whispering sweet nothings in his <laughs> ear all night. If you're lucky, you'll also get a copy of Masquerade's book's hot new read, Donald Trump: The Man, The Myth, The Scandal by Joel Reed. You'll be able to find out whatever you want to know about America's most magnetic magnet. Don't wait. A catch like Donald Trump won't stay out of someone's bed for long. Did he pay for this ad himself? Did this happen? Did somebody win a contest and bank Donald Trump? See, what I want to know is do any of the pillows survive? Maybe that maybe that was early my pillow guy. It's weird how it there's strange foreshadowing in that. The 90s were so fucking weird. Okay, here's the okay, here's the whole like here's the page. I think hold on, let me just check this really quickly. Okay, there's no no nipples, right? That's our deal. I bet Kellyanne Conway won that. Here's here's the page. He looks strangely like um Charles Grodin in that picture. I just I want to know, like, do any of the pillows survive? <laughs> <laughs> now they're more expensive than the Mona Lisa. Yeah, right? Like, I have so many questions. <laughs> I, I have so many questions. Like, I don't it, remember that happening, and I remember Donald Trump from the 90s. Dude. Like, I remember him that far back. Like, a lot of people, he just showed up on the radar which is weird for me because he's been a pop culture fucking presence forever. Yeah, no, yeah. A hundred percent has. He's been a mainstay in American pop culture since the eighties. Like my first memory of Donald Trump is when he was on David Letterman and David had Donald Trump on the roof of the studio and Donald Trump would just like go in and out of the shadows and he was like up on the roof for like a week. And he's like, well, let's check in with Donald Trump. And I'd be like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> yeah, he, uh, I mean. There is nothing wrong with the planet. Nothing wrong with the planet. The planet is Carlin fine. was. The people are fucked. <laughs> Difference. Difference. Carlin was doing like, is this is being Compared 1994 the people, the would be this set. Uh, 
been here four and a half billion years. <coughs> um, the arithmetic. Planet has been here four and a half and he was years. dunking on Trump what? in this fucking special. I think this is also the special where he starts out uh, talking about how isn't it funny how all the pro-lifers are people you wouldn't fuck anyway? And then, um, you know, says that women are only like the brood mares for the state yeah. that's gotten like so much play since Roe got overturned. Which bothers me because I've been using that turn of phrase since he used it back then, basically. Yeah. <sighs> Fucking... I mean, like, I'm a Carlin fan. I'm like, motherfucker, I've been saying that for like two decades now. Fuck, I remember earned my right to say it. Fuck oh, it. yeah, I even remember his TV show. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking... They had like four episodes. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> but yeah, no, like, he's he's been a mainstay for a while. Fucking... Um, oh, did we time out the special person? Fucking, I'm, I'm annoyed. That's why I popped the fucking, um, uh, <clears throat> Tic Tac earlier. Um, <laughs> smooth, smoothed everything out. Let's just call it, uh, leave it at that. Um, fuck. We, George Carlin had a TV show. Yeah, he had a TV show. It was Caboose. on Fox. The only ep- it was it was very short lived. The only episode I remember is that George got his jaw wired shut, and then so we kept drinking cheeseburgers through a straw. Yeah, it was called the George Carlin <laughs> Show. Uh, there you go. Yeah, he's very much a thing. It was. It was. Hey, did you? See- Is that Jerry Mulligan? No, it was me. But I accept the compliment. (laughs) Jack, give me a beer. Before you shift? Hey, relax, will you? I'm unemployed. Oh, no. Yeah. So you got fired again. No, I quit. As a matter of fact, I quit a lot more jobs than I ever got fired from. Mm. And there were better jobs, too. What job were you ever fired from that cab driver is better than? (laughs) Balloon vendor? Geek's Apprentice, Migratory Nitpicker. You had to ask. Where's Harry? Well, he'll be here. So, who do you like? Giants of Washington. Giants? What does your system say? Check that out for you. It's just the wrong format for him. He yeah, does, it, do, it, it he, doesn't work at all. <laughs> he doesn't do situational comedy. No. Like, it's really bad for Carlin. Yeah. He, he's usually not great in movies, though, but he did he did fine in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. And uh, Dogma. Oh, yeah, and Dogma, yeah. Um, yeah, Dogma has the saddest, Carlin. That's, dude, that's, next time you, if you ever go back and rewatch Dogma, look to his left hand and look for the Band-Aid on his uh, ring finger. He's got a Band-Aid covering his wedding ring the entire time. Because his uh, his wife had died, and he told oh, he, he told Kevin, "I can't, I can't take the ring off." And he's like, "Can I just cover it with a band aid?" And of course, Kevin Smith's like, "To George Carlin making a request like that, yeah, you know, it's like, dude, <laughs> yeah, you're fine, <laughs> you're fine." But yeah, if you look at all the scenes uh, in Dogma, and anytime you can catch Carlin's left hand, you can see a uh, a band aid. He's yeah, his recently passed wife. Dogma's saddest Carlin. You've been hearing the centrist try to claim George Carlin lately. Yeah, they could try, but I mean, just go back yeah. and read brain droppings or something like that. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, yeah, he's not. Uh, no, he wouldn't be in the K hive. I don't believe. Uh Christ didn't come here to did you, teach the willies. Did you see the thing? Did you see the thing about the Biden conference call with the top Democrats where Deborah Messing is like, fuck you, Joe Biden. I got you elected. No, but that's funny. <laughs> it was all over Twitter yesterday. There is this there is this fallout where all these like top Democrats, including Deborah Messing, called the White House and there was this big conference call where they were like chewing his ass and they're like, what the fuck are you doing? 
Interesting. Yeah, I'm seeing I'm I'm <clears throat> seeing headlines on it. She's quoted as saying, I got you elected. And she's been like a like an anti Bernie villain on Twitter for like years now. I mean, clearly somebody doesn't like her based on this photo they chose for this article. Jesus, look at this. <laughs> Slightly less unhinged than usual. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's a Zionist too. <clears throat> Fun times. Not yeah. a member of Mensa, obviously. True. <laughs> Could be. Yeah, that was uh, special. <laughs> but yeah, no, I I knew I knew I need to needed to impart to you the Breen news because that was it's in the can. We're getting a movie, and he's giving Mensa speeches. I really appreciate it. Is it December? It, it, he says it hits the like festival circuit in December. Isn't this a sequel to the last one? Yes. I think he's going to be triplets, right? I don't know. I don't know at this point. Like, right? Like, what? <laughs> what is he going to do at this point? Like, it's it's. It's not even wait 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 uh yeah, yeah technically the last one it's it's a sequel to Twisted Pair, right? Um, the last movie he technically did was the five movie retrospective, but you know with and I, I still I, so want to see it still. I expect that the visual effects are going to be the best because when I was looking at him back in the day and I was trying to talk to him, I noticed a lot of like really good three D artists being like Mr. Breen. It would be an honor. <laughs> To work on your film. Yeah. Dude, hundred percent. It, it's at this point where it's like, dude, you're a fucking legend. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking did it. Dude, you suck at everything. And you did it. People love you. <laughs> they consider you an artist, man. And you are an artist, man. How this is like, this is alchemy. This is like the truest sense of like, you know, a greater than the sum of its parts. Right. Like, it's like, the extreme amount of purity. It's just, it's a beautiful thing. He's like, he is a saint in a weird way. He's just like, he, 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 he's the saint of like, of just like this. You can tell that he's got sort of like this, this, like, uh, you know, this, this cultural thing about him where he like has these like very specific, very American ethics. And also that he's a little boy. But he's a he's a much how like little boys grow up and they can drive cars, but they're still little boys. Somehow he grew up and he he got a camera. <laughs> um, and yeah, Crimson. Um, no, that's a hundred percent the plan is to watch the uh, watch uh, watch the original Twisted Pair back to back with the sequel. Like that's that's a hundred percent the 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 plan as it stands. Um, also, I was thinking the other day we need to do another brain, brain, bro, brain retrospective. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's motherfuckers that haven't seen Brain up in this bitch now. What did you guys watch last? I mean, I always mean to check in to see what's going on. Um, but one time I went in and you guys were watching Biodome and that fucked me up for like two weeks. <laughs> Tokyo Gore Police. <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, um, but about a year time for annual viewing night. Um, fucking yeah, yeah. Tokyo Gore Police was was last Friday. That's pretty good. I remember that being good. Yeah, it's batshit insane. Yeah, F fucking wacky as fuck. No budget. Uh, burger. I'd like you take to my Breen Genity. Uh, I don't know if this Breen fellow is a soccer mom. Uh, you've <laughs> only seen Fateful Findings. Now, you need to just watch mm -hmm. them all because mm -hmm. it shows his growth as a filmmaker. It legitimately does. I go I go very, very deep in film. And if you if you know anything about me, I'm this bizarre kind of like artist guy and I do whatever, you know, but like I brain was entirely off my radar and I entirely I totally credit Kai for introducing me to Neil Breen because he was wearing this bizarre fucking shirt. And I was like, what is up with that? And he's like, 
get on the air right now. And then what ensued was like a, a still like a spiritual awakening was still possible through film because of the beautiful purity that is Neil Breen, who made some of the greatest scenes, I think, in cinema. Like none of the movies are all that coherent, really. No. I mean, like you can kind of see what's going on, but some isolated scenes are just pure brilliance. <laughs> Why did you shoot yourself? <laughs> Why did you kill yourself? Why? <laughs> Why did you kill yourself? No. No. Oh, God. <laughs> fucking. Just, yeah. They're just. I can't ever quote it, but the, the, like, all of the, like, anytime he does techno babble, oh, it's always, <laughs> it's always amazing. It's always yeah. amazing. It's just random words that he yeah. just fucking puts together. When he's in that airstream and he just says yes. like fucking quantum physics. <laughs> String theory. What is what quantum is particles? <laughs> waves. <laughs> he's just he's just weird random shit. He just says. It's just amazing. Neil Breen's amazing. He's perfect. President of the bank. Yes. <laughs> President of the bank. <laughs> Bang. You know, the stream where you introduced nonsense to bring was the first time I met nonsense. I'm pretty sure it was the first about the joy of the community. Oh, no, no, Karina. That was no, no, that was, you, that was not you. That's, that was way more recent than when you joined. Program. I don't know. You know, I was programmable I was like, matter. Been- Programmable matter. I was trying to think of programmable matter. Programmable matter. <laughs> That's so good. Oh. Yeah, I think you are, Karina. Yeah, because that was that the, the the brain thing's way more recent than when you joined. Uh, he's a conceptual performer and writer, and good he's concept. No, he's great. Um, no, he's fucking amazing. Okay. There are things that he did that nobody else could fucking do. <laughs> the fucking the, the the chick and the dude, the old dude that he like turns young, like straight up Jesus's out of the wheelchair and turns young again and gives a second life with the like the young broad and the kid. And you're like, what the fuck? I still love that scene, that relationship <laughs> scene in the back of that pickup truck. Where dude's oh. just like doing drugs, and, she, and I'm like, this is so fucking real. <laughs> and he just zaps them out of existence temporarily, yeah. and then zaps them back into existence <laughs> when it's convenient for him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, and His the, dialogue is so weird because it's so like generalized. But it like it it somehow still works. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. No, I I Oh, uh, and there's so many laptops. It's fucking do we need like an ASPCA warning for those laptops? Fucking laptops were harmed in the filming of this. <laughs> <laughs> if he doesn't put down three laptops in a movie, he feels like he's not doing the world justice or something. Oh, and you know. Like murder a couple of CEOs and senators. <laughs> he definitely and it's, does it's, that. It's truly amazing. What is this? His sixth movie? Um, yeah, Techn- like you know, proper. Yeah, it's like it's so weird that all of his movies mm. have something that's like interesting. You know, it's like none of them are like, uh, you know, whatever. This guy lost it. Try it's just, it. Like, there's always something there. Try it again, Rev. That should have worked for you. Oh, wait, hang on. Try it now. Try it. That was. Mm, nope. Should work for anybody. That's weird. Because it was Cupcake and I. Oh, dummy. There you go. Yeah, Cupcake and I tested this, and then I was like, why, you know, why isn't it working? I have to actually hit save. 
Um, <clears throat> and Aspen, we, Aspen recently figured out how to play my drops without having to put redeem in front of them. Um, Shout out to Aspen MVP. And for some reason, it's coming back undefined, which is fun, which is usually when the API runs slowly, actually. So let me just do a little thing here. And just rev one year, five months. Save, save that. All right. Um, seven months, one week on red. Um, that's not how you spell that. There's like one five or five six months. people who have spent like over 10 whole days watching my stream over the past year. <laughs> um, Karina, one year, five months. So, you know, um, okay. So why is it the area? Um, okay. So give me one sec. I'll actually diagnose this like live on air. What is this? Uh, trigger pull. This would be an ID 17 for my variable set. Let's go looking at ID 17 kids and see. Interesting. So the last follower is not actually. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Response headers for Papa John. Um, and. Oh, that's interesting. That's a double escape. Got it. All right. Um, one more time. Somebody try. Gah. I'll work on it later. That should have worked. I don't know why it's not pulling. 17... Where are you? Header. Oh. No, the, it should be there. Rex Parker, I'm seeing your fucking response. Uh, seven months, three weeks. Like I'm literally looking at yours right now. wonder why it's not pulling. My shit just randomly disconnects sometimes. Oh, uh, wait, hang on. Save, save. Try it now, just out of curiosity. There you go. Mm, now it's all saying one year. F okay. No, no, no. That just happens to be a fucking overlap. <laughs> yeah. Fucking two of you fuckers actually have been falling for one year, five months. And you asked for those ages back to back. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Why was, how did I fuck up that variable set that badly? How did it work during the whatever? Doesn't matter. It's fixed now. Move past. Oh, so it's like less less illegal to be gay in the Caribbean these days. Antigua and I forget who. One of the other Caribbean islands made it like not illegal to be gay now. Barbuda. It's Antigua and Barbuda. Is 
it's pretty weird to me how many when people invest energy in, into like making stuff like that illegal it's like what are you doing mm. a lot of it's holdovers from the british colony days actually Britain eventually got around to revoking it, but a lot of their fucking bullshit colonial laws stuck. Yeah. So, yeah, a lot of that is that. <laughs> Viscous. It's more like chop your head off kind of shit. No, they really don't. No. Some areas are better with it. And I mean, I kind of hate to say this, but it's kind of the areas that have been gentrified more. The places that have the tourism dollars and have been gentrified a little more, a little more accepting of the the homosexuality. But you go to like some of the poverty stricken areas of the Dominican Republic and Jamaica, and it gets very, um, yeah, it's very dangerous to be queer. Nice, Kaiser. Congratulations. Did you catch any of the recent Jordan Peterson meltdown? Uh, over Elliot, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, the one thing that's annoying me, like, here's the thing. This is the one thing that annoys me. So I've seen the memes about how, like, because fucking Peterson stupidly got himself TOS'd. Right. Yeah. Um. Fucking. Uh, and then Ruben gets himself t- tos and then Shapiro starts talking about people like you know I saw the like the the Reaper meme and you know the Mario Kart whatever fucking meme and I you know I've seen a few of them and it always ends up with Shabibo falling off or getting taken out. I'm like, guys, you got to stop fucking putting that one on. He's not gonna fall for it. Like, dude, Shabibo's not good people. But he knows how to play the TOS game. He's successfully dead named Elliot several times. It's fucking. He buys a lot of Facebook ads. <laughs> he, he knows he knows how to how to play this game successfully. Um, I love that. So. I love that meme that goes around where Elliot's like, "I consent." And then Elliot's doctor's like, "I do too." And then Jordan Peterson's at the end. And he's like, "Isn't there someone you forgot to ask?" Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, it's, just, it's just like, you know, for me, that's the only hangout. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake, you're not going to get Shabibo with that. Um, <clears throat> Ruben, yes, fucking, you know, Crowder, yes, fucking Peterson, yes. There's a whole list of these idiots you can fucking get with that one. But Shabibo knows how to tap dance. Uh, in fact, it has been shown that a bull in a china shop really doesn't actually like disrupting anything on the shelves. Well, they will file up and down the, the aisleways. They really don't like knocking things over. Even bulls are like, yeah. Uh, Ben's a shareholder. I think generally... Most animals just aren't that way. They don't go careening through things for the most part. <sighs> yeah, I think that's deer. I love those videos of deer just Jesus. randomly smashing through a restaurant window or something, not realizing where they're at, and then freaking the fuck out. Deer are fucking, they're dumb. <laughs> deer are dumb. Like, they're dumb. Yeah. And they make this stupidest fucking noise. And they're fucking covered in ticks. They're rats with hooves. Okay? It's just, it is what it is. The noise deer make is the weirdest goddamn noise, too. I, I don't even know. <laughs> like, it, it's, yeah. The, yeah it's, <laughs> I'm really good at hanging out with wild animals. Like, I'm a country boy, too. And I would, like, always hang out. Like, one of my favorite memories is that one time I got home, and there was like a hundred turkey just walking through my yard. And I just like walked with them for miles, just like hanging out, you know, and it was cool, just not disrupting them. And so I'd always like go up and like I'd hang out with wild animals. I always wanted to pet a deer, even though it was like really, really dangerous, but I was really smart about it. And you know how <clears throat> deer can only really kind of see you if you're moving, sort of like a motion detector. And I had this one with a kid, and I knew it was like I knew it was like super dangerous because I had the kid too. 
but I was like, I was like sneaking up real close to it because I wanted to pet this deer. And I got like up to like 15 feet away from it. And, and it's like looking right at me. And I just like stopped. It was like, it was just like after like 45 minutes, it just subtly, just very slowly. And then the mom just keeps looking at me and she's like, I know you're right there, fucker. And she's just like looking at me and she blew all this air out of her nostrils. Like it was like so fucking intense. <laughs> and then they ran away. It was like, I could feel it even though she was like 15 feet away. And it was like, I don't know. It was like, I was like getting barked at, but like very nostrally. Yeah. By, by a deer. That was horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I fuck them. Shoot them. <laughs> Dude, there's the thing about the turkeys. There's more turkeys <clears throat> now than at the time of the founding of the country. Yeah, turkeys are cool as fuck. Turkeys, like, I, I, see, I see why Ben Franklin likes them. Turkeys, there is a more prevalent wild turkey population in North America today than there was when this country was founded. Like, that's, if you want to hunt something and f- feel fine about, like, taking a few out of the out of the circle, do you, turkeys, you'd be just fine. Don't even They're worry about it. They're tasty, too. Yeah. I knew this lady who had a tom turkey that was huge and he'd act like a butler. Like when you showed up, you'd just like come out of the barn and he'd hang out with you and you just walk around. <laughs> Wild turkeys are not cute. No, they're actually very aggressive sometimes. Deer scare me. Nothing cute about accidentally running into a large elk in the, uh, in the, in the roar. Yeah. Um, yeah, elk are fucking crazy. They're huge. They're good, though. They're tasty. I have no empathy for turkeys. Other birds, yes. Turkeys, no. I don't have empathies for birds. They're just fucking leftover dinosaurs, and I don't trust dinosaurs. 100%. So, like, next week, James Webb is going to release its first images. Yeah, it's going to be great. Um, Shit, shit's gonna get real. We're gonna see shit that we never seen before. Yeah. Um. Viscous turkey is not the best bird meat. It's just not. I do like turkey meat though. It is good, but there's far superior birds out there. Duck, goose, a roast goose. Drain the fat. Roast the uh, roast the veg. Right. Like there's there's better birds out there than turkey i can't think of the last time i had goose but i i eat duck a couple of times a year it's nice and fat yeah i love just chomping on a fat duck <laughs> yeah, viscous i'm sorry you're already being outvoted there's multiple people in chat I'm like yeah duck fucking yeah pigeon um pigeon is dude pigeon is one of the saddest stories Pigeons are crafted by humanity. You understand? Like pigeons, we cut the same deal with pigeons that we cut with like cats and dogs, only we continued to eat them, right? We have caused, we have trained them to serve in our wars. They have acted as our messengers in communiques. We have used them for sport. We have domesticated them and brought them with us all, everywhere we go across the globe because we see them as such a... a, a a rich and um, noble food source. And then we find them slightly unpleasant at the first turn in the new world, release them in mass into our cities and then call them rats with wings. It's like, bitch, I, I, I saved your ass in WW2. <laughs> like the fuck. I was just thinking, I don't think I ever, I don't think I've ever eaten a pigeon and I'm not sure that I would. Um, especially not a city pigeon. Yeah, God we damn. we did pigeons dirty. We did pigeons real dirty. Um. Oh Jesus Christ, Kaiser! Of course you play that fucking game. It is viscous. It's red meat. It's it's good meat. It's red meat, man. Yeah. <laughs> Some pigeons have been through shit. It's true. Um, <laughs> dig, of course you have. <laughs> Peking duck is top tier. Yeah. 
Yeah, no. Um, it's a good game. I would recommend. I've seen it played, Kaiser. I've seen it played. I don't need to play it. Thank you, though. Um, there actually, there's a lot of, fu- you do realize that, like the doves that you release at these stupid fucking weddings are pigeons. Pigeons, are, it's just, a pigeon is a rock dove. It's, it's the same thing. They're like, oh, they're so beautiful. We need them on our special day. We're all these fucking doves. Release a crate of pigeons. It's the same goddamn thing. Fancy pigeons. Yeah, no, it's it's the same fucking animal, basically. It's just a different variation. Wait, is this crazy fucker streaming video? On Earth. Alright, good on him. I don't have any love for anything that can randomly shit on me. Uh, don't don't hate soccer mom. You know you do it to other people. <laughs> and here now you know what well, only the white doves are good enough. Hmm. I was like a turducken, but way over the top. Rumble. Rodi sans perel or peril. 17 birds stuffed inside each other, starting with a buzzard, stuffed with a turkey, stuffed with a goose, then pheasant, chicken, duck, guinea fowl, uh, teal, woodcock, partridge, and on and on and on. But when you finally, when you finally cut into it, you discover it's just cake. It's all cake. Oh, God, I hate that. I hate that meme. I hate, I hate it, too. <laughs> just fucking, it's so stupid. It pissed me off on more than one occasion. Dude, it's so stupid. I just want it to go the way. Go away. Oh, dude, I have this video. It's nine minutes long. You'll love it. Um, There's a festival, the Worcester Festival. It's July 1981. Um, One of the... Ma- one of the managers walks up to the cure and says they need to cut their set short because Robert Palmer <laughs> wants to go on. He's addicted to love and he's raring to go. So they did a nine minute long rendition <laughs> of a forest. Yeah. They're like, oh, we need to cut it short. Here's a nine minute long rendition of a song. Then, Go fuck yourself. Oh, fucking Robert Palmer. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Excuse me, The Cure. I'm going to need you to cut your set short because a real artist wants to go on. You know, Robert <laughs> Palmer. Did, is it just me or did Robert Palmer seem to be trying to still some of like David Bowie's sort of like aesthetic in a way, but like not like sort of like a more... I don't know, traditional Bowie-esque looking dude. Like even as a little kid, I'm like, what's this guy's deal? <laughs> but then that that uh, that video for Addicted to Love came on and my dad's like, yeah, I like those ladies, which my dad never <sighs> says anything like that ever. Fuck. And, my, and then my mom's like, what the fuck? And he's like, you know, ladies like that. Look at that. <laughs> in, in just the classic black dress, <laughs> right? Just the... They're in the business suits. <laughs> Ladies in business suits. Um, we don't get a whole lot of that out here. <laughs> um, what else was there? Oh, uh, yeah. You're not in that shit. You're not in that shit. Um, oh, yeah. Hmm. See, we have a new world's thickest. Uh, I'm sorry. New world's thinnest watch. It's um, it's the, the thickness of a quarter. It costs one point eight 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 million dollars. Yeah, no fitness tracking, no messages, no smart assistants. It does have a picture of a horse on the front, but that's it. It's the world's thinnest watch. For one, is it actually eight, waterproof eight. or just water resistant? <laughs> 
it's not <laughs> either of them. <laughs> oh, really? Like, if you, if you drop a drip on it, it's fucked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh... Eh, Karina. Um... <laughs> Uh, yes, Astral. In fact, you want to see the wind-up mechanism on it? Because it's 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 essentially... It's like a flea on a hamster wheel? It's, well, it's actually... I mean, it's an interesting little piece. Um, okay, first I'll show you the, the watch. Here you go. Right, so here's the watch from the side. Check out those weird little finger condoms. It's not a glove. <laughs> oh. So you can see the, the keyed You can see the if key I want, winding. If I won that in a contest, I'd be like, I'm good. <laughs> if I won that in a contest, I'd be like, I'm selling it. <laughs> Fucking one point. The, <clears throat> and so if anybody has any question, they're targeting China. $1.888 million. Chinese culture has a thing with eights. No, it isn't actually a Ferrari watch. No, not at all. Uh, multiple brands um, use the the fucking stupid shit. Um, yeah, yeah. This is dude. The, the fact that they've got the price tag set at one point eight 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 million dollars. Everybody was like, probably targeting the Chinese market with this one. Yeah, no crimson. It's it's really, really thin. Um, probably some really interesting windings inside. I'd love to see a blow apart of it. Um, okay. Wait. Hmm. You know what? I'm fine with that. I feel good with that. Uh So what's on the rest of your night? Uh, tonight. Fucking dummy. I'm just sort of perplexed. <laughs> I've, I've been in a, I've been in like a, I've been in a state of constantly being perplexed for the last day. I'm, I have like a really weird experience that I'm working out. And then like, it's so weird because it's like, I've been producing things at such a clip that like, I'm not even sure I can doodle. I'm just sort of like, I think I'm like dreaming while awake, trying to process what the fuck is going on sort of thing. So that's about it. <laughs> oh, fair enough. What do you got going on? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I was just looking at fucking like somebody to fucking raid to. And I just see this Jason society on politics. <clears throat> yeah. Aliens banged my dogs. Now they're pregnant with Chewbacca. 420 plus dabs. <laughs> I was like, leftist cannabis advocate trying to survive in a red state. Single dad, former Sanders campaign worker, activist, and musician. You know what? <laughs> I don't know this dude, and I like this dude. <laughs> Simple as that. Fucking aliens banged my dog and now, dogs, and now they're pregnant with Chewbacca. You have my attention, sir. You, you think that would happen more? But thanks for the brain update. Uh, yeah, no, hundred uh, percent. He's he's an okay dude. I don't watch him much ever. Yeah, fine. That that works. Um, yeah, no, I I figured like you need to be caught up to speed immediately on brain news. 
So, yeah. It's good to know that he's out there. He's in the wild, man. <laughs> fucking just walking around. Like, you, I mean, nobody fucking keeps an eye on this. Like, your brain could just be, like, behind you right now. Yeah, totally. That's why I'm always looking around. Everybody's like, are you paranoid? I'm like, no, I'm looking for fucking Neil Breen. Calm down. Yeah. He could be anywhere. <laughs> he could be anyone. He could be anyone. <laughs> His talent is a chameleon-like actor. <laughs> he just he just pours himself into whatever role he may find. Uh, and fucking just becomes it. I can't, dude, I cannot believe that they're going at it again in voice chat. Dude, that shit went into the fucking wee hours the other night. Is this um, voice chat? Ugh, some shit. Either way, everybody, we're raiding out. <laughs> right, man. Catch you later. Easy.